皆さんこんにちは、近藤です。今回の動画なんですけども、自分の運営しているイタリア医学部予備校で一緒に働いてくれているパビア大学現役医学部生のアルプと共にイタリア医学部留学の魅力であったり、まあ、実際のシステムであったり、彼自身はトルコにあるトルコ人向けのイタリア医学部留学を目指すエージェンシーでも働いていますので、その辺なんかでどういった学生が受かりやすいとか、そういったところを聞いていけたらなと思います。今回の動画ですけども、アルプ自身は日本語が話せませんので、インタビューは英語で行います。で、まあ、ただ、少し英語が難しかったりして、あの、ご覧になっている皆さんがわからないと困るので、下にサブタイトルもつけますけども、まあ、まあ、彼自身も英語で医学部をしていて、自分もしてるわけなんですけども、このぐらいの英語力っていうのは、まあ、入学して、こう、生活をしていく上で必要になってきますので、まあ、皆さん今はまだ受験の段階で、このぐらいの英語力っていうのはないかもしれないですけども、今後イタリアに来て、英語の能力っていうのは、上げていかなきゃいけないということもあのご理解していただけるかなと思います。Okay, so let's get started. First of all, introduce yourself in English. Hi everyone, I'm Alp. I'm a second year medicine student at University of Pavia.、Uh, I'm also a tutor and like a mentor in a Turkish agency for students who want to take IMAT. Okay, so the first thing is since you're、uh, Turkish and we're Japanese, there's like Probably like different mindset for like applying to Italian med school. For Turkish s t u d e n t what do you think about like going to it- Italian med school? Okay,、uh, since Turkey is like closer than Japan to Italy, like it's for us it's easier, and there are like many people who already went there. We know many people, like there are many agencies that do that job, so it's kind of easier for us, and it's not like Scary when it comes to think about your future life in Italy. あのまあおそらく皆さん日本からだと、まあ、トルコというと、まあ、中東なのがよくわからない場所にあってイタリアというとヨーロッパっていうイメージがあるかもしれないんですけども、まあ、一度世界地図をあのご覧いただいたらわかるんですけどももうイタリアがあってすぐここにトルコなので実際飛行機とかも2時間ぐらいしかかからないのでまああの文化もかなり近いですしあの、まあ、トルコはトルコ語なんですけどもあの生物の用語とかっていうのはあのラテン語とすごい似ているので、まあ、そこら辺のこの勉強を最初に英語とかでこう勉強をし始める際のこの何て言うんですかね壁っていうのが、まあ、日本人よりは明らかに少ないのかなというところをまずあの印象として持ちました。You were like graduated from Turkish high school and、yes. what's, what was the reason you to choose Italian med school? Personally, not in general. So, my high school was in Turkey, so I didn't have any like、uh, English course or something. But after I had national exam in Turkey, we have a national exam similar to Japan, I guess. And I had a like really high score, so I decided to go to like one of the best private universities in Turkey. So, they were in medicine, offering, in in med- medicine、okay. yes, in medicine. So, they were offering me a、uh, language. Preparation year in the United States. It was fully like funded by them. It was like a full scholarship. So I went to Washington, D.C., to United States. Wow. Then、uh, after living there for a year, I came back to Istanbul, to Turkey. Then I realized that I actually want to discover some other you know, parts of the world. I want to live in abroad because、mm-hmm. I really enjoyed it when I was in the United States. So I was looking for the universities. And Italy was offering, like, very, let's say, good quality of education, and it was way cheaper than other European universities. And I always wanted to live in Italy in some part of my life, and I realized that it was a like, perfect moment for that. So I quit. I mean, I didn't quit, I still have the enrollment in my Turkish university, but I decided to come here. So, you said like Italy has good med education system, but what do you think, what do you like about Italian med school? So, okay, like when you think in general, European education system is like way better than many countries. Yeah, okay, that's true. So, Italy is one of the、uh, oldest and one of the best, well structured c o u r s e in medicine. And since I knew the history of like modern anatomy, everything, I knew that like Italy has like a rich culture, rich yeah, history okay, in medicine, and I was interested in that.、Uh, other than that,、mm, like theoretical part of education here is so strong, and the way they are doing exams is actually helping, with you, helping you with learning everything you actually need. But like, even if you have to learn all the topics,、mm-hmm. it might be pretty hard. To、mm-hmm. get to that level, you have like 
multiple chances to pass that exam. So it's not something that, okay, it's so tough, but you only have only one chance. So if you don't success, you、mm-hmm. get failed. It's not like that. No, it's, it's not hard, like that. It's hard, but you can try multiple times. Yes, actually, I like that too. So, okay, in many medical universities, it's more like a high school. You have some system, you have some calendar planned for you, you have probably one chance for every exam. You might have, I don't know, like, it's more like high school in other universities. But in Italy, you can actually feel that you're studying in a university and it's like very flexible. You can plan your calendar by yourself. Like, for example, you don't want to take your exam in December, in January, because there's an exam session then. You can just plan it for summer or for August or September. Whenever you want, and you have like multiple chances because they don't want you to be stressed too much about exams. So it's actually student friendly, I can say that. でここからは、まあ、実際に、えー、私たち2人とも iMAT を経験してなんなら去年自分が iMAT を受けた際にはこの隣にアルプにもう専属で、えー、バイオロジーの、えー、レッスンなんかをしてもらって、まあ、自分は無事あの1ヶ月で、えー、iMAT のバイオロジーに関しては7割ぐらいあの得点できるところまで持っていってもらったんですけども、まあ、そんな、まあ、トルコでも中退をしている彼に、まあ、どうやったら、えー、iMAT に受かりやすいのかとかどういった学生が、えー、iMAT でこう苦戦しているのかとかそういったところなんかをあの聞いていけたらなと思います。So, for taking IMAT, like,、mm-hmm. you're seeing many students every year.、Yes. Like, and you see, like, okay, for those who are studying like, this way, there's more like, chance to pass. And those who are、like, struggling in some part, they mostly fail. And can you explain something about this? Okay, so, first of all, your strategy is the most important thing when you start studying for IMAT. And when students, they don't, when they don't have any strategy or if they don't plan before they start studying, they're just、uh, kind of panicking and they start going into too much details in some topics, even though it's not necessary at all. Because when you look at the structure of IMAT, it's actually like pretty simple, pretty like surface, surface knowledge. And if they want to ask some detailed information, they ask like not more than two questions. So, since the IMAT is not like too competitive exam, like if you get like more than 50, more than 55 out of 90 points, you can actually like enroll into any university you want. So, if you get into too much details, if you panic about e x a m if you don't have a clear strategy, you possibly fail. Because like knowing too much some, about something doesn't help with IMAT. So, My strategy for students is actually like learning the basics, the basic knowledge about every topic. So, like trying to reach some like minimum score, which is 50, 55, maybe 60 for a better student. Our background is strong, so IMAT is not a big thing. So, what should we do is finding a strategy and learning basic knowledge to what we need. If you like start studying biology textbook from the beginning,、mm-hmm. you won't know which part is important or something.、Yes. You check biology question, okay, to answer this level, you need to study these topics with like these levels.、Mm-hmm. And you go back, it's more like efficient way of studying. Yeah. Okay. Like most Japanese d o e s n t study like all three scientific subjects. For me, I study only <laughs> physics and chemistry. And Yeah, and this math, is、right? and math, yeah, and math、mm-hmm. for sure, everyone. But、um, okay, majority who's trying to enroll in med school in Japan,、mm-hmm. they take physics and chemistry, not biology. Okay. That's still the majority. Even like some students take biology, but majority is taking physics. So, but if they want to try IMA, they have to study biology for sure. Yes. Yes, you should. But they're kind of like so afraid about like studying biology in English. By themselves. What do you, what you can say to them? Okay, biology is one of the most important parts in IMAT, and you should learn.、Yeah. But you don't have to learn perfectly. You should just know in which parts they're actually asking from. And like you said, just like some basic knowledge is enough. Because I, as I remember from you, at first, before we start like,、mm, studying together, You were not able to answer like more than two questions in 15, right?、Yeah. But at the end,、uh, like after a month, you were able to have like 11 yeah, questions. Yeah, 10,、right? 11 questions. 
So actually like learning the most important part doesn't take that much time, especially for biology. Because when you study physics, chemistry, you have to learn the logic, you have to practice a lot and so on. But for biology, like you don't have to practice. You're just learning the knowledge, like information. And when you see the question, you should just apply the information you know. So it doesn't take that much time. And I would say uh, getting better in biology is the, yeah, it's like way easier than other subjects like chemistry, physics, math. Yeah, okay. So there's nothing to be scared of for biology. で、えー、ここからは、まあ、あの、アイマットの話は、ちょっと一旦おしまいにして、まあ、彼自身は、えー、パビア大学を選んだわけなんですけども、なぜパビア大学を選んだのか、というところなんかについて、あの、聞いていけたらなと思います。So, I mean, you got, like, enough score, so you could enroll in any university,、yes. but why did you choose Pavia? So, I actually wanted to live and study in the north part of Italy, because it's, like, richer, universities are better in ranking-wise. So, I was looking at universities as, such as, Padua, Milano,、uh, Bologna. Bologna is not like fully north, but it's kind of north.、Uh, Torino and Pavia. So while I was comparing them, I wanted to live somewhere cheaper than Milan, of course, because Milan is like probably the most, one of the most expensive cities in Europe. So I didn't want to study in Milan, even though the university was like really good.、Uh, I didn't choose Bologna or Torino because, yeah, I didn't like the course structure. So I was in between Padua and Pavia. And I talked to some students from both universities, and Padua actually started、uh, getting students like two or three years ago, or four, I'm not sure. So it's kind of new in English course. And for Pavia, it's like the, one of the best, well structured c o u r s e Because、uh, as far as I know, it started in 2009, so it makes Pavia the oldest English taught medicine course in Italy. So I was like, yeah, okay. They have many students graduated already. We know their structure. City is like cheaper than Milan and it's in the north. And I was also、uh, walking around with Shin and I think he also liked it. Yeah. Because it was like a clean, safe, cheap, like you actually have everything you need in the city. And it's also like very close to Milan, which is one of the biggest cities in Europe. And if you want to do something in Milan, you can have a dinner there, you can go to. Clubbing, whatever, because it's like like 20 minutes away by train. So you have access to Milan and you have everything you need, it's cheaper. So the,、okay. uh, also, the university is one of the best. For me, it doesn't make that much sense because, like, the most of the English taught medicine courses in Italy are new. So when you check that rankings, you're actually checking Italian taught. Medicine courses in Italy. So you're actually seeing the Italian course, not an English course. Because, like, they didn't even make a ranking yet. Like, in Padua, they don't even have someone graduated. So, yeah, like, checking that rankings doesn't make that much sense. But all of the universities in the north, and I mean, they're in first、uh, 250. So, I mean, all of them, they have good rankings. というわけで、ここまで、えー、彼とアイマットについてであったり、えー、彼がなぜパビア大学を選んだのかといったことなんかについてお話ししてきましたけども、えー、私たち一緒にイタリア医学部予備校というところで、えー、アイマット受験を目指している学生さんのサポートもしていますので、この動画を見て、えー、もっとイタリア医学部留学について知りたいとか、もっと興味を持ったという、えー、学生さんだったり、その親御さんなんかは、概要欄記載のホームページからご連絡いただければ、私なりアルプなりがお答えしますので、まあ、お気軽にご連絡いただければなと思います。今回の動画は以上になります。はい、次ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。やっと、ベン。はい、今回の動画は以上になります。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。<笑>